Today we're going to look at using the SQL tab from phpMyAdmin. So I have right here um, phpMyAdmin called up with a sample database ABCD0001. That is my database. Within that database I have a series of tables that I can see in the left hand column. The SQL tab up at the top here, if I'm looking at the database, let's see, here's the server, here's the database, I click on SQL tab, there we are. I can write any SQL that I want here. So select star from users. And I can click on go, run that, there's my query, and I've got a result set coming up. Now, when I ran that, because I sele said select from users, it automatically jumped to the users table. So again, back in the database, go to the SQL tab, it just shows me a blank window. If I go back into the users and from there I want to look at the SQL tab. Now you guys can just see a little bit here but this is the list of columns in the users table. Because I'm in the table users and I'm running something on the SQL tab it defaults to select everything from the users and it says where one. That's basically just saying where true, which will give me every record in the list. Here are the columns. If I want to replace this star with specific columns, I can click on one and say stick that one in there. And then I'll put a comma, a space, and then the email field. There we are. Now it's going to retrieve all that when I click the go button. There we are. Select full name, email, from users where one gives me all the records. Now there is uh, an interesting thing to note here. You see these things, they look like quotes but they're actually not quotes. By default you'll get it around the table name. This is called the back tick character and if you look, if you're on a Mac keyboard on the top left hand corner there is the tilde character which looks like that, and then just below it is the backtick character. This is not a quotation mark. This backtick character is supposed to be around table names, so if you were an idiot and you were putting multiple words in your table name and leaving spaces in there, the backtick wraps this all up as a single word. This is really, really bad. You should never put spaces in your column names or in your table names. You don't need these as long as you don't have spaces there. So I can delete that and I will delete all this other stuff. There we go. Select star from users without the backtick character. Go. There we are. Runs just fine without the backtick character. I just want you to know that this is not a single quote that they're putting there. It is the backtick. And that's it.